this is a military uniform who he has not worn since 1965. So he got a thrill out of wearing this many decades later. <laughs> so he's gone. He will point out who he is. Uh, these images were taken in 1963 in the embassy of Uruguay in the middle of a post revolution in Cuba. So, I am proud of my 73 year old father. <laughs> the blood that runs through my veins carries a story of revolution, a revolution against communism. I might not have been an American if my father did not stand up for freedom and democracy in 1959. The fact that my father, at 17, revolted against Fidel Castro's communism in Cuba makes me proud to have a rebel for a father. At 17, in America, all I cared about was surfing and my next girlfriend. At 17, my dad had to go underground in Cuba while the communists searched for him. My dad was and is a man who will fight for his convictions. My dad is still alive an eight-year cancer survivor, thriving now. Cuba is in his heart, like video games are in the hearts of teens. His story on how he escaped Cuba to stay alive contrasts the average life of a 17-year-old. Thanks to the partnership between America and the Uruguay Embassy in Cuba, my father was able to create a family outside of the 1963 Fidel Castro communist revolution in Cuba. My dad wrote in Spanish, quote, in the first days of taking power by the Castro communists, a group of young men in my town started to fight to maintain our Christian ways, our liberty, and our democracy. This determination put us in the position of possibly being captured and executed by firing squad or jailed, end quote. After going underground for two weeks, my father realized he had to flee his own country. The communists had changed his Cuba and there was no way to stop them. Quote, we had to leave our fatherland any which way we could. End quote. At the age of 17, wanted for political dissent, my dad was able to enter the embassy of Uruguay at no cost. Before being allowed in the embassy, my dad got two of his friends into the embassy. I asked my dad, what power did you have at 17 to get two of your friends into the embassy in the middle of a post-revolution? Quote, that is a great question. <laughs> he said, anything is possible in life. As long as you want it, anything is possible. End quote. My dad lived in the embassy for one year. From June 16, 1962 to June 14, 1963. Quote, on the third day of reaching the United States of America, 
I volunteered in the army to defend, if necessary, the country that opened its doors to me while my own country or fatherland closed its doors to me. End quote. I am now 37. And have taken a while to appreciate what my father did to get to America. I love this country. I love my dad. <laughs> it is challenging to tell my dad that I love him. I have never told the rebel who gave me life that I love him. I have never told America that I love it. <laughs> 